Welcome to Cordwallis Preparatory School. Celebrations filled the air recently as the school turned 110 years. The birthday festivities kicked off with a Harley Davidson bike parade thrilling the staff and learners. And of course the party would be incomplete without a cake and the singing of the most popular song in the world. Cordwallis is an all-boys school. Here young minds are exposed to a variety of learning opportunities. It's an environment that hones talent inside and outside the classroom. There are so many opportunities here for the boys. Uh, we believe in a holistic education and we, would, we, we just hope the boys who come here take, make the most of all the opportunities offered to them. What I enjoy being a learner in Cordwallis is that um, it's fun and um, the, if everyone is super nice um, around the school. It's a very big school. There's a wide like variety of different friends that you can make. There's some people that like sports, academics, music. So either way, you, everyone's going to fit in. Just a few years ago, I was running around these fields, but it's a place that really shaped me into the person I'm becoming. And it's a place where, as a young boy, to grow up in an environment like this, with classes like this, teachers like this, facilities like this it's anything a boy in this country could need and I only hope that more boys can get opportunities to attend the school and have the blessings that I've had. Today the school has special visitors. Amidst the crowd are former students who've become awesome successful gentlemen after leaving Cordwallis Preparatory School many years ago. They are here to celebrate with the school and to witness an extraordinary gesture. You see the old art center needed a facelift so businessman Rem Kulisi, also a former student, stepped in to help. The center will now be called the Mkulisi Creative Center, named in memory of Ray's father. Throughout the day, it became clear that art is an important subject at any school. Art is the most important subject because it's teaching problem solving. Our boys that are living in this millennium need to know how to solve problems. So it's never a problem to have a problem and they learn creativity and they're going to need that in every facet of their lives. Not all the children are, are good academically, so like sports, you know, I think the arts will be also benefit them a lot because I know that some other students really, they've got so much talent in terms of being artistic rather than being sort of academically. You find that they cannot do well in math and physics, but you know, when you go to arts, you find that they'll be able to, to showcase their talent and then will also bring their self-esteem and their confidence. I think a space where so many boys can come and learn um, and appreciate this amazing opportunity um, to encourage diversity um, and just help the boys reach their full potential. Here's how Uncle Ray, who made the newly renovated centre possible, feels about art and creativity as forms of learning. I think it's an important uh, aspect of their growth and, and development due to the fact that it's very different to the conventional way of learning. And I think for boys it's important. I think they learn differently and uh, they learn by expression and feeling and touching and uh, that stimulates their minds. I'm happy for Corollis because I'm happy because they've been around so long and that they've been able to stay with the program for 110 years. I just said to Corollis, thank you for being such a great school. Um, really has treated me very well. Um, so hopefully many more years to come. And to end off the day in style, the young boys currently at the school took on the former learners in a cricket match. Now that's a day well spent, celebrating an honorable gesture. Happy 110th birthday to Cordwallis Preparatory School. Dilintia Mokeleti, SABC News, Johannesburg.